Alrighty, good morning and welcome back once again. You can see what we're doing today for lunch. Uh, we're doing some burgers, a couple half pound patties I put together myself real easy. Uh, it's just one pound of 85, 15 ground beef. Uh, put it in a bowl, put about two and a half, three tablespoons of this uh, Lee and Perrine's W sauce. And then, uh, I don't know, about a tablespoon in with the beef, mixed it all up a little bit, made them into two half pound patties. Uh, you see we got some potato wedges. Uh, binder on that. I did use some uh, garlic infused olive oil or uh, canola oil. I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, we're going to be cooking this on a new grill today. Well, it's a used grill, but it's a, I finally found myself a good marketplace deal. So I'm pretty excited to do a cook on that. And uh, yeah, you know, see the bacon there because you know what, what, what makes every burger better? Be bacon. We're also going to be cooking that on the, the new grill as well. So besides that, um, there's a quick overview. Nice buns too. We're going to do some pretzel buns. And uh, yeah, I got nothing else. So we will see you when we're at the grill. Alrighty, you might have guessed it already, but uh, I found a Weber Performer Deluxe, these are called. Uh, it is missing some parts, like it's missing that bracket on the left, missing the bottom shelf, missing a charcoal bucket, but to be honest with you, I've been in, like, searching for these ones with the, uh, you know, with the hard tops. And uh, I can always, you know, I can usually find the plastic tops and you can replace the top, but I want one for the hard top. I uh, picked this up for 80 bucks. I do have the... Uh, the bracket on, on its way, and I also have the bottom shelf on its way, but when it comes to that charcoal bin that's also on there, I don't really care for that, so I'm not going to get that. So, picked her up for 80 bucks, show you what we got going today. Well, you know what we got going, but I'll just show you the setup. Um, again, the greatest accessory for a Weber kettle, in my opinion, is that slow and sear. See, I got that on there. So we got the burgers, the bacon, the potatoes, all, all piled up in there pretty good. Um, 225 to 250 is going to be today's cook temp, and I'm guessing it's probably going to be about an hour and a half to two hour cook. So besides that, I'm going to close this thing down, get her dialed in, and uh, I'll probably check back in in a little bit. Alrighty, so we are about one hour into the cook. Give me a quick peek here. Bacon, fries, burgers. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stick a temp probe in here and see what the burgers got. When I do no-flip burgers like this, uh, I like taking them up probably about 150. Uh, right around 133, 134 on that burger. About the same there. I'm going to go ahead and close this thing down. Probably let it go for another 20-30 minutes and uh, it'll probably be done. So I will pick back up one more time when it's time to eat. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back and it is time to eat. Real quick, I'm going to go over to cook times. Uh, held this, uh, the internal temp of the cook, uh, probably between 225 and 235 the whole time. Super easy to do. Slow and sear is really easy to use. And uh, brought the burgers up to about 150 degrees. It was about an hour and 45 minute cook. Here's the final product. Uh, top it off with some uh, a toasted pretzel bun and uh, pretty much you know got my burger got pepper jack two slices of bacon on there a slice of tomato some onion some mayo on the top bun with some barbecue sauce and then uh, you know should I cut this in half and see if we can take a peek right down the middle of it without breaking anything there's burger looking pretty dang good let's go ahead and try it Hmm. Wow, that is fantastic. Again, um, if you haven't tried the no-flip burgers, uh, they're really good. Just do them nice and low and slow. Uh, this is more on the medium uh, compared to medium air side. But, uh, you know, when I do burgers, I do like taking them up a little higher. So now besides that, I'm going to go ahead and eat. You guys and girls have a good day. Go Vikings, and uh, we'll see you next time.